All right, Chief Meteorologist Joe Varis is here. I'm still getting used to seeing daylight outside mm -hmm. the studio windows, and I'm looking seeing some sunshine right now. We're going to see, yeah, an extended day today just because we have a lot of clear skies out there, so sun setting not until about quarter after 7 tonight, and uh, we'll be left with clear skies for the first part of the overnight period, allowing for temperatures to drop down to the teens overnight tonight, so a <laughs> chilly night tonight, but we do crack the 40-degree mark for tomorrow, so temperatures are going to respond Good. nicely. We're going to have to contend with a little bit of a mix tomorrow afternoon, though, mix rain and snow. But with temperatures that warm, mm -hmm. accumulations are going to be tough to come by. Okay, great. All right, here's our weather headlines for tonight. And we are calling for, again, mainly clear skies, at least to start tonight. Winds gradually diminishing as well. Had a peak wind gust up to 41 miles an hour this afternoon. Mix rain and snow showers heading our way tomorrow in advance of an approaching cold front. And uh, that'll mean below average temperatures, unfortunately, for the weekend. But uh, not all that bad as far as the weather's concerned. Uh, we'll let you know what's going on with that in just a second. But first, our weather maps tonight. We do have a ridge of high pressure that's briefly in control just off to our south, giving us the clear skies now. But that cold front lurking back to the north and west. And that's what's going to bring some unsettled conditions our way for tomorrow afternoon. You can see that storm system way back here north of the Great Lakes states. The good news for us, though, for tonight, we're getting the clearing right now. And we have that opportunity to view that comet tonight. It's Comet Pan Stars right around 8 o'clock tonight, low in the western sky, just below the crescent moon. You may see a faint glimmer of light, and that would be the comet itself. Should be viewable for about a half hour tonight. So if you have any kind of telephoto lens, uh, binoculars, uh, you'll be able to see it even better. So keep that in mind around 8 o'clock tonight. Look low in the western sky, and you may be able to see that comet tonight. You can see the mainly clear skies out there right now, although there are a few scattered clouds back over the western southern tier. I think these will tend to dissipate, though, as we go through this evening. 26 in Bradford, 30 in Syracuse, and 36 the current temperature in Scranton. Local temperatures in the 30s at this hour, 33 in Elmira, 36 Corning, and Wellsboro currently at 34 degrees. So our planner for tonight looking for some increasing clouds after midnight. Temperatures down to near 18 degrees and then thickening clouds tomorrow. Afternoon mixed rain and snow showers, but temperatures by then into the lower 40s. So no accumulations during the daylight hours tomorrow, but some of those snow showers will linger into tomorrow evening. And as temperatures drop into the 30s, we may see a light accumulation here late tomorrow night and going into Saturday morning. Latest computer models though for Saturday Keep that next storm system that will be moving in from the Ohio Valley off to our south and future track is picking up on that. So this is going into our Saturday. Looks like we may get brushed with some flurries or light snow showers, but shouldn't be all that bad of a day. It's going to be chilly, but at least we're not going to have to contend with much snow. Uh, you will, though, if you travel off towards the south over central and southern Pennsylvania, a little bit more steadier snow that way for Saturday afternoon. Five degree guarantee for today. Our forecast high 32. We barely managed to hit 34 degrees. Our forecast for tonight for the northern tier. Look for skies to become partly cloudy later on tonight with temperatures in the upper teens. Southern tier of New York also a cold night tonight with winds diminishing. 17 in Bath, also 17 in Corning. Forecasting 18 for Elmira. And then for the southern Finger Lakes area, look for partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid to upper teens. Here's our seven-day forecast showing a, a warmer day for tomorrow, but rain and snow showers for the afternoon. A couple flurries on Saturday, dry St. Patrick's Day, and still calling for mixed rain and snow Monday and Tuesday of next week. Not so spring-like for the first day of spring on Wednesday, with highs only in the mid-30s.